Hello all my friends. I hope you're having an outstanding fabulous day. Please overlook the laundry behind me. It needs to be folded, stuck in a chair. And uh, I need a new studio, but uh, since YouTube is not my money-making gig, I make no money from YouTube, uh, I can't afford a studio. So what you see is my home office command center all around here. And thank you for watching. And if you have not, please smash the subscribe, click on the like and click on the bell. Today's video is about real estate and it's about buying a pool and three reasons why you should and three reasons why you shouldn't. And there's probably more each way, but these are kind of like the three big reasons each way. And this came about because my client, my friend said, hey, we're going to get a pool. And I was like, I'll help you because I have a pool and I spent uh, like 13 months researching pools and interviewing pool builders to save money to put the pool in. Uh, so I know a lot about pools and I told them I'd help them, but I said, don't do it. And so what I'm going to tell you today, I'll try to remember to specifically point out Maryland, uh, and then just some generalities uh, throughout the country. And first, uh, so in Maryland, uh, it's not a big pool state, so you do not get much return on your money. There's three different types of pools. A vinyl liner pool, a concrete, which is gunite, uh, and fiberglass. Now in some states, California, Florida, they'll do like the concrete, gunite, and tile it, but vinyl, concrete, and fiberglass. In general, you will get more return no matter where you live if you have a concrete fiberglass pool. You will get less return for a vinyl pool. In general, regardless of where you live, you will get more value from an appraiser and for selling your home if you have a bigger, nice, fancy pool. Can you overdo it? Yes. Can you underdo it? Yes. Does it all depend? Yes. In Maryland, you'll get for an average in-ground pool, an appraiser will give you about $7,500 of value. For a nicer, bigger pool, you'll get about $10,000 of value. My pool is, is almost 900 square feet. It's got a pebble finish and bluestone surround and blah, blah, blah. It would cost about $120,000 to build today. You'll still get about $10,000 of value. So in Maryland, a pool is not a good investment. Some states, Pools are all over the place. And in states where pools are prevalent, California, Florida, there's other states, you'll get more value. And how much more... Oh, I'm losing all my notes and everything. How much more value depends on your neighborhood. So you're in California and you're in the Hollywood area, everybody has a pool, you better have a nice pool and you'll get value. You'll get, you'll get value for having the pool. You'll get knocked in value for not having a pool and you'll get value for having a really nice pool. In Maryland, if all your neighbors have a pool and you don't have a pool, you could get knocked a little bit, but not that much because Maryland's not a pool state. In Maryland, there really aren't pool loans. Uh, like you'll get a personal loan, but when I started my pool search, I was like, oh, I'll just get a loan. Well, the pool first pool man said, how are we going to repossess that pool? And I was like, well, that's a good point. There are no pool loans. So why did it take me almost 13 months to get a pool? Because I had to save the money. Because to get a pool, you have to pay cash. In other states, it might be different, but probably not too much differently, except when you're building a house, it can be part of the package. My friends are building a house in Florida. They're getting a pool because everybody has a pool where they live in Florida. 
it's all part of the mortgage. But in general, no pool loans for, for anywhere close to what the pool costs because how are they going to repossess the pool? So, three reasons why to get a pool. Because you want one. You want it for yourself, you want it for your family, you want it for your children, whatever. You want a pool. And you have the money. So you don't have to take out a home equity loan. You don't have to tap into your retirement. You don't have to borrow the money. You have the money. And it'll help with resale. You're in certain neighborhoods, certain states, California, Arizona, Florida, where pools are hot ticket items. It'll help you resell, and it could ding you if you don't have a pool. But three reasons not to, and in particular, this is good for Maryland and damn near every northern state where, where uh, they don't have long extended uh, swimming season. You don't have the money. Uh, you know, don't go in debt for a pool. Well, you're not going to get any return on your investment uh, and it's not going to help you sell the house. No return of investment. And it could help with resale, but not necessarily because there are some people who don't want a pool and they won't buy a house because there's a pool. Fourteen years ago, my children were playing in my backyard because I had a mega playground set. And I bought that mega playground set for all those, for my kids and all the neighborhood kids because I wanted them all there so I could keep control and watch them and protect them. Uh, one summer came, a neighbor a couple doors up got a pool. Kids a little bit older than my oldest son. Uh, but all the neighbor kids went down there swimming and he didn't invite my kids and two of my kids were like whatever but my son oldest son it's like 10 years old or something uh he sat on that prop side of my property I literally sat on my property line uh cross-legged uh crying 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 because they didn't invite him and that just pissed me off and i said, I'm going to get him a pool. And that's what started my pool quest. Um, and that's what started my pool quest. And that's when I realized, that's when I learned. I learned about different pools and equipment and everything else, but I learned there are really no such thing as a pool loan. I learned that, uh, don't take equity out of your house. I already knew that that's for something, for something like that. That's a, that's a play item. Uh, and so for, for almost 13 months, I interviewed pool builders. I got prices on pools. I learned about pools. And at the same time I was saving money and I just happened to have a windfall, uh, from a legal case, a motorcycle accident. And I got a chunk of money, uh, and I built my pool for my kids. I built an L shape. It's almost 900 square feet. One end was uh, had an extra deep, like three and a half feet, so that they could play volleyball and play in. And then I had a, a slide put in in the deeper end. And uh, it's chemical free and pebble finish and a swim out and two sets of steps and blah, blah, blah. It's freaking nice. It cost me 60 and I got like 1300 square feet of concrete and retaining wall, blah, blah, blah. It cost me like 63,000. That was the best price I had, uh, 14 years ago. The highest price I had was 90,000. That pool is only worth today about $10,000. Hell, it was only worth about 7,500. And so, I look back now because I'm the only one who pretty much uses that pool in the summer. I float in that pool. I work on my tan. I have a beer. I have a gin and tonic uh, or margarita. But if I would have taken that money and put it in a Vanguard account, it probably would be worth about 
buck fifty, a buck sixty now. Much better for retirement. So that's why I tell my friends, don't put in a pool. I should have joined a swim club and just taken my kids once or twice a week to the swim club. If you have the money, if money is no issue, uh, even if you're down here, if money's no issue, uh, you don't care about your return of investment, then get a pool. Uh, but if you think that you're getting a pool to have family fun and a return on your investment, you will not get a return on your investment in Maryland. Even in those states where everybody has a pool, you will never recoup anywhere close to 100% of what a pool costs. So I hope you got something out of that. Uh, that's just my little thing about pools. Uh, if you have any specific questions, I'm happy to answer them. If you have any specific questions about the types of pools, uh, I really am kind of a pool expert. My pool builder actually offered me a job uh, at the end of my pool building because uh, I knew just as much as he did about pool building and, and the technology and stuff. So I'm happy to answer any questions. And... Thank you all for watching and taking time out of your life to watch. And if you have not, please smash the subscribe, click on the like, click on the bell, and tell your friends. Thank you. I love you all. See ya!